Today we are at a special place in the uh, golf capital of the world, Myrtle Beach. We're on Polly's Island at Polly's Plantation Golf Course. We're gonna give this place a full review. We've heard some amazing things about this joint and there's only one way to find out if everything we've heard that's great is true. Let's check it out. So here in the Myrtle Beach area, we'll leave a link below in the description for this place and Play Golf Myrtle Beach so you can get all your info regarding this particular part of the country in golf. Dynamic pricing is basically what they have. All the golf courses in this particular area. Check this out. Uh, it looks like a big break Myrtle Beach stopped by here. Polly's Plantation was designed by the, um, the Golden Bear, also known as Jack Nicholas. Now, why was he called the Golden Bear? Because he ate bear for, no, because he let, like he had kind of blondish hair. And he looked like a bear. This place was designed in 1988 by the Jack Nicholas, and last year, he kind of redesigned it a little bit, made some subtle changes, so it made it a lot more, let's say, friendlier for the average player. This is the bar restaurant area here at Polly's Plantation. Really cool hip design. I absolutely love the look and feel. We will check this out a little bit later and get a full in-depth um, experience. Food, cocktails, you name it, so that you know firsthand what they've got here. It's a good vibe going on. It's a cold one today at Polly's Plantation. We got the range to ourselves. Nice grass range. Everything looks in crystal clear shape. Looks like we got a full range, meaning we can hit whatever club we want. What's the key on a freezing cold morning? It's about probably 45 degrees at the moment, and we're gonna have to make sure we play an extra club, at least until it warms up, maybe all day. One of the things I really like about the range here at Polly's Plantation is this. They have a tree in the middle of the driving range. I always think this is a fantastic idea for all ranges because it gives you more perception of aim, right? It's just easier to have depth perception, pick spots left of the tree, right of the tree, not just targets, I want something. A plus, range here, Polly's, it's a solid range. 8.9 range is my review rate rating of the range. Something everybody should have, but not everybody does, is just a little chipping area right off the range so you can warm up the most important part of your game. Here's the thing. Well, golf swing lessons aren't necessarily a waste of money. They do help, but if you want to lower your score the fastest, you need to live in this area right here. Let me ask you this. How many times, comment below, have you, instead of playing golf one day, used that four to five hours in this area. Do that once a month, your scores will dramatically drop. And I saved you a, a lot of money. You're welcome. Okay, we are about ready to kick it off. Jack Nicholas, Polly's Plantation, tipping it out 7,008 yards. Total redesign here. They've taken out over 500 trees, done away with a lot of the waste bunkers. Don't even know what it was like before, but we're gonna have a good time today. So with the redesign, they also did uh, all new greens. So they say they're a little firm, which is great. So we'll have to account for that. They weren't joking about the firm greens. Got a little work left on the first hole. Uh-oh, what a gorgeous first hole. Well, this isn't the first hole. We started on 10. So this is the 10th hole here. Gorgeous backdrop pond here. It's fantastic. I love the bridge. Really special design. So Bermuda greens, they will be grainy. Bermuda has a lot of grain in them. So we got to read some grain into our break. That was a good putt. Just didn't hit it. All right. So we kick off with a little bogey. Not good for the review purposes, but that's not the golf course's fault. I had 80 yards from the fairway. <laughs> it's 100% my fault. But so far, I'm impressed with the beauty of Polly's Plantation. Tip of the day here. When you're laying up to a par five, two things. One, you wanna kinda have an idea of what you want for your third shot. And two, hit the club 
that you're most confident with. So five wood for me, I'll get it down as far as I can. And I'm super confident with this club. I had a hundred, I hit, hit it 90 and I rolled off the back of the green. That was bad. That was really bad. Twelfth hole here at Polly's Plantation. We got this giant oak and we're teeing off here. We kind of got to go under it. This is interesting. Let's see what we got. I'll say on a scale of a one to 10 for tee shots. This is up there, 9.5. So they got rid of a lot of the waste bunkers and all new bunkers, greenside bunkers. So that's pretty cool. Sweet, and we're in one. So we'll give you a full on golf course bunker review. I like the sand here. Nice white sand. It's got that Augusta kind of look to it, which I like. Bunker review here, here we go. Just want to get it on, see what happens. Oh, 13 here, Polly's Plantation. This is really cool. You're on the marshland here and we're <laughs> heading to this little island over here on the strip of bridge. So 143 is our number. Now I've played a lot of holes in my life and I don't think I've ever played anything quite like this. Okay, we're dry and way long I think. Exciting part of the video. This is where we respond to your uh, comments on recent videos. Let's dive in. Mr. Short Game is always relevant with his information. Love the channel, love the, thanks. Who's that from? Dave, Dave somebody. Thanks Dave, appreciate you. Uh, next up, I gained new club head speed today watching this. Oh, you're welcome. My five iron was going 220, whoa. Keeping the chest on the ball makes it like rubber band in the back. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Charlie Jeter. Awesome, good job, my man. This page keeps saying I'm offline. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, thanks for the comment. Oh, here's a good one. What a load of bullocks. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. 10 products every golfer must have it, I, you know. We're having fun with those PGA show videos. This particular uh, person did not appreciate it, I guess. What a beautiful backdrop here on the marshlands. I mean, it just looks like it goes on forever. Great design here from the Golden Bear. Ooh. So the 13th hole and the 17th hole, they're both par threes and you tee off on this strip on the marsh. So both difficult and you're hitting over the marsh to your green, small targets both ways. This is the 18th hole, Polly's Plantation. What a beautiful backdrop. If this were our finishing hole, it's a spectacular finishing hole. We got a little pond here on the side hitting into this beautiful uh, green with this in the backdrop is the clubhouse. Spectacular clubhouse. We're talking, I mean, that's a 9-0 right there. That's solid as she gets. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this birdie putt. Then we're gonna go and give you a food review here at the uh, clubhouse dining area that we showed earlier in the video. Oh, I almost made it. Oh. That was a good roll. That's an easy six footer for par. <laughs> Lunch will be extra or breakfast, whatever you got, brunch. It's kind of brunch time, let's do it. All right, we're at Palmetto Jack's. We're taking a break, we're gonna order. I am going with the coffee for your review purposes and I am gonna get the Low Country Burger. It's an eight ounce burger with arugula, I love arugula. Red onion, pimento cheese, bacon, smoked sriracha roll on a brioche bun. All right. 
coffee. Hot coffee, here we go. Now they're using basically store-bought coffee, okay? But it doesn't matter. What matters is how do they prepare it? Okay, that's not bad. I don't care if it's Folgers. I don't care if it's better than Starbucks. That's for sure. Okay, here is the burger. Look at this bad one. Now, look at that. We got a nice toasted brioche bun. We got our pimento right there. Our burger looks deliciously cooked. Is that our bacon? Look at the bacon in there. Oh my gosh. This looks spectacular. Delicious burger. Fries. My car fries right there. Lunch here, Polly's Plantation. It's worth every penny. Mm. 8.5 for golf course dining. Solid right there. All right, we got some exciting things coming for you here on the back half of the review here at Polly's Plantation. We've got the front nine coming up at you. We have golf cart beverage review coming at you. That lunch hit the spot. It is still freezing cold. I don't know what happened. Sun's out, guns are not out. See, this is a gorgeous hole. The trees are starting to come into foliage, or well, I don't know what you call it, but we got a multiple, many different colors framing the shot. So this is a gorgeous hole to start off, typically to start off your round. Oh, so I gave it a little extra. That was a good run. Here at Polly's Plantation, we are rocking the Easy Go Elite Cart, fully electric. I love how they customize the color for these guys. Nice little gold, silver tint to it. Polly's Plantation logo on the front of the golf cart. Beautiful flip up, flip down screen. It's kind of your standard everyday electric golf cart. Nothing super exciting about it. On the golf cart ranking scale of a scale one to 10, this is a solid like 7.5. Great, but not, you know, the top of the top. Certainly far from the bottom. Excellent, perfect ride. Polly's Plantation golf cart. We are about, we're exactly 12 yards from a juvenile alligator. He's right here. Let's check him out. Now, two questions. Am I man enough? No, see, we know I'm man enough, but oh, he's, he's wiggling around, look at him. You don't wanna to touch a gator, but I'm also looking out for his mom, cause she's gonna come in and eat me. So we don't wanna deal with that. But he's just chilling, having a good day, so you don't wanna mess with him. But there are gators here at uh, Polly's Plantation. That's cool. That's cool stuff. Little tip for you. No, I'll give you a lot of tips. Just little, little nuggets. When you know, which we do, that you can putt from short of the green, then it's okay to be short of the green intentionally. It's actually a good, smart play because if we go too far, then it's just gonna hit the hard green and go way, and we're gonna have a super long putt. I don't want that. I'd rather be just short with a shorter putt. Or in the bunker. Look, there's no guarantee you're gonna hit a good shot. I hit it good, I just hooked it too much. So, but we did what we wanted to do. I got a little bit of everything. Okay, let's do the local, whatever the local specialty is. What's this called? It's an airbrush, it's a hazy IPA. Airbrush hazy IPA, all right. Get a little closer with that bad boy. All right, we've got the airbrush hazy IPA from the uh, Grand Strand Brewing Company here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Never had it, don't know what to expect. I'm not typically an IPA guy, but when in Rome, as they say, hoppy flavor, pretty good. It's got a citrusy flavor, little aftertaste. I do like the citrus in there. Almost like an orange flavor. I like that. Great job, Grand Strand Brewing Company. Hazy IPA. I like the can. I don't know why it's called Airbrush, but it is. If you're an IPA person, you're gonna dig it. I'm gonna give the whole cart beverage experience, 7.8 on the Richter scale. There's always something I wanna review when I'm doing a, a review course because 
courses like this attract a lot of travelers from all over the place. And one thing I want to know is how easy and convenient is it to putt when you're short of the green? I did pretty well, but I'm looking at bumps. How much is a bump? A little bit of bump, obviously, and it's not too slow. And it's just, you know, you just got to judge the speed correctly, which I feel like we did a decent job at. I'm going to give this Polly's Plantation a solid 8.5. Hole five. Now, we were talking about me loving trees and things like that on the driving range. This is why. There's a tree just on the left center of the fairway. So if you had practice aiming at a tree when you were warming up or just a limb or right or left side of the tree, then you get to do the exact same thing here. Oh my gosh, this has got to be one of the hardest, this is one of the hardest holes on the course. Great drive, five iron, landed on the front, rolled off the back, back right pin, and how this thing went behind the hole without going in, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, this hole will, uh, will test you. I'm just happy to walk off with a par, and it was looking good nearly, pretty much the whole way, until it went past the hole. This is kind of the essence of golf with all these pines going back. Just a grand hole is what I would say. Water here, it's going to affect your second shot. Bunker guarding the front of the green. Don't go right and long. That's no good. And then just the houses here behind the hole makes this just, it looks spectacular. It's peace and tranquility is what I'm feeling here in the eighth hole, Polly's Plantation. We are going to finish up here on the ninth hole. We're taking this one all the way back. Once again, tree in the fairway, just like the range. We're going left side of the tree. So is this course easy? No, it's definitely not an easy course. It's a very challenging course. I think it's one where you have to know it really well to be able to go really low. I'm gonna give Polly's here ranking golf, ranking, Mr. Short Game ranking, 8.1. It's a really nice course, challenging course, beautiful location, beautiful layout. All in all, 8.1, Myrtle Beach. Link below for Play Golf Myrtle Beach as well as this course. Thanks for watching, love you guys. See you next time.